Hey guys, it's Joe. I hope everyone's doing great out there. Coming at you tonight with an unboxing video, and tonight we have Box of Dread. Um, bar this is actually probably the smallest Box of Dread I've ever seen. Um, so I'm guessing just a lot of flat items this month. Um, but uh, Box of Dread, uh, one of the cheaper boxes you can get horror-wise. Um, honestly, never really disappoint per uh, I think I've only been disappointed with maybe two of their boxes that I've gotten so far other than that I think they've been really solid um always like a pretty solid box um for the price and I'm trying to think what the themes were I know I think it was predator it was predator was in there and a Christmas horror story which is a movie I've not seen yet um but I've heard you know, mix things about it. So, um, without further ado, let's jump right into this box and see what we got uh, for this month. Alrighty. Blind as always, of course. Let's see what we got. Alright, we got our paper here. Feels like there's something in the paper. Maybe not. Alright. Nope. Alrighty, so let's see here. First item. Right off the top here, we have... <laughs> this is cool. Um, we have a... Pre I've never seen these before either, actually. We have a Predator Mini Mates. Um, that is really cool. Um, collect them all, mix and match parts. So I guess you can make like multiple Predators and stuff like that. But that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Um, we'll open them up real quick. Hopefully I don't have to put them together. Um, oh no, you don't even have to put them together. He's already put together. And oh, I got a good one for sure here. Which one did I get? Masked, yeah, Masked Jungle Predator. He is badass. They even, it even comes with a little display stand, which is like super awesome. Um, I'll open him up real quick and show him off. He is an awesome looking, for such a small figure, he is really cool looking. Um, decent, oh, the stand just fell. But a pretty good amount of detail on him too for such a small figure. But a really, really badass looking figure right there. He is awesome looking. Um, you know, I like these small figures because they're easy to display and you can pretty much put them anywhere. Um, but a, I got a good one here. Glad I got Predator because um, you could also get, you know, um, some of the other characters here. Thermal Jungle Predator looks friggin' awesome on here too. Um, and then you get some of the, you know, the soldiers and some of the other characters. But I'm glad I got a Predator. Um, super awesome looking. He looks great. Looks really badass. Even the back, you know, you got his, um, there. That is sweet. So really cool, ah, predator figure, little predator figure right there. One I've never seen before, and I'm glad it comes with like a little display case too. So that's cool. All right, let's see what we got next here. We have uh, condemned cards. Okay, available on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital January 5th. So it must be a card set of condemned. Um... I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to open these. I probably am not. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm familiar with this movie. Um, yeah, I've never, I, I don't think I've seen this one. And I don't know if it's old or if it's new, but um, you guys will have to let me know about that. If anyone knows a little more about these. I'm not going to open them because they all look to be the same. It's like a movie set uh, of like movie stills and cards and stuff like that, so... Don't know much about that, but next item we have, oh cool, oh sweet, this is like a Dread Central, I'm assuming it's like a Christmas ornament, something you can hang on your tree there, that is pretty dang cool right there, as you can see it says Dread Central on the back right there, and you get the uh, Dread Central logo on it, and I'm assuming you can just kind of like, you know, get like a little thing and you hang it right on your tree, it's kind of like, you know, snowflake kind of looking there that is very cool i really like that that is pretty cool I, I definitely dig that pretty cool item right there all right next we have it feels like a coaster and we do have a coaster we have a crow the crow coaster so that is pretty cool i mean you know i like the crow it's a good movie 
once again, I will say it multiple times. Uh, I am not. Um, I do not think Crow is like horror. I don't know why they. I mean, they always throw it in horror boxes, but I mean, he definitely has horror tones to him, no doubt about it. But I mean, to me, the Crow is like more of an action movie. Um, but I don't mind getting them in the boxes. I just don't think it's true horror. Um, but you know, I mean, you know, most people associate the Crow with you know, horror, in, um, I guess, um, but, you know, it's a cool little coaster right there, and it's good quality, you know, it's not like the crappy ones, sometimes horror block sends, um, you get the cork board, it's corked, so, you know, pretty cool item, um, I'm not, like, a huge crow collector, so if anyone is, like, interested in this, I'm def, I'll definitely, like, you know, willing to trade it or whatever, um, so let me know about that, all right, next item, got all right, this is pretty cool right here. We have some Christmas horror story. It looks like um, postcards here, which, you know, I said I have not seen this movie yet, but, oh, these are really cool. All of them kind of have, like, um, one's got Krampus on it, you know, from, that's in the Krampus character from this Christmas horror story. Now, this is the one I know, um, this was, like, uh, the movie cover of um, a Christmas horror story um, right there. But you see it's just, like, a regular postcard there. Um, but you get, you know, some of the image stills from the movie here. There's another one. You get Santa. Santa's, like, battle uh, axed in that one. Um, this is a great one of Krampus right here with, like, blood all over his mouth right there and stuff. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, have not seen this movie yet, so if you guys have seen this movie, definitely let me know. I, I want to know um, if it's worth watching or not. Um... It looks a little cheesy, I'm not going to lie there. The Krampus, his makeup is a little odd. It's not as cool. As, it doesn't look as cool as Krampus was in Krampus, the movie. Because um, that Krampus is pretty badass looking. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have seen A Christmas Horror Story, let me know if it's worth uh, a watch. And I'll probably give it a watch before Christmas if you guys um, tell me it's worth it. Alright, next item. Pretty full box this month. They really... Seem like they put a lot of stuff in here. All right, we have a Fearless Records, four free songs um, from your new favorite bands. So it looks like um, it looks like some metal bands because I've heard of Ice Nine Kills. I believe they're metal. Um, the other ones I've not heard, but it's like a uh, download code um, from the move from the. Um, what am I saying? Uh, it's a down, you get a download code to download these four free songs. Um, I'm probably not going to use this. So first person that wants it, I will put it up there. And um, you can have these four songs. So first person that gets it, it's all yours. You get four free songs. Enter that code and it will be yours. So hopefully so if you do end up using it, let me know because... Um, you know, I'd like, you know, that way other people, if people look in the comments, they'll know not that, you know, so they don't waste their time or whatever. But I hope someone uses it for sure. Um, all right. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is really cool. Um, it's just a blank card. I guess a Christmas card. Uh, this is great. It says Merry Krampus on it and just a great, uh, you know, image of Krampus uh, getting ready to eat the kid, eat the child, or whatever he's going to do to this kid uh, in this image there. It's coming up a little dark, a little light in there, hopefully. But, oh, really cool. Um, you know, I will not be sending this. I'm definitely going to display that. That is very, very cool. Um, kind of like the Krampus from Folklore. There they use, so a great little card right there. And in the back says Sleigh Bells. I'm assuming that's the company that made it. Um, but that is really cool. I really dig that. Alright, next item. Yeah, really full box this month. There's a lot of uh, stuff in here. It feels like we might have a comic. Alright, that's the, uh, so this is the envelope for the Krampus Christmas card right there too. Um, and then, feels like we have a comic maybe? Okay, we do. We have a, it's called, uh, Dynamite issue number one it looks like. Of the Mocking Dead, um, I'm assuming it is a parody, somewhat of the Walking Dead. Um, so that is like really interesting. 
Let me see if I can take it out real quick here. And uh, see what we get here. See if uh, we can kind of take a look in here. Yeah, so it looks like, so, you know, you get, it's a black and white comic here. And I'm assuming it is a somewhat of a parody or spoof of The Walking Dead, I would assume. That's kind of what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, the, the Mocking Dead by Dynamite, um, issue number one. So that's cool. I mean, at least they said issue number one. You know, I you know I know a lot of people. You get a lot of complaints from people um, that you know when they don't send when they just send a random you know comic. Um, but having an issue number one is nice for sure. So that is pretty cool. And it feels like we might have one. Oh, a couple more items actually. Jesus, uh, this is probably the most stuff I've gotten in a box of dread in quite some time here. Um, they really uh, put a lot in here, which is pretty cool. Um, all right, so it looks like we got a poster. Of course, box of dread, you're going to get a poster every single month. I'm pretty sure I've gotten a poster every single month, at least one. Sometimes they send two. Um, but, you know, like I said, if you're a, you know a big movie poster collector, um, you know, you're going to really enjoy box of dread um i am not a huge movie poster collector but i hang the ones that i like um you know you got to be picky because i'm i'm slowly running out of wall space out here um so let's see what we got here for a poster all right we have a poster for the new horror movie that is coming out um called the forest now i, I actually did see the trailer for this this movie is about um the su kind of like the uh, suicide forest in, I believe it's Japan, There, it's which is like an actual forest. I mean, the movie is obviously not based on a true story or anything like that, but there is an actual uh, suicide forest in Japan where, like, for some reason, a high number of people go there to commit suicide. Um, there's, like, a really good documentary about it. I cannot remember the name of it right now, but they did a documentary on it as well. I believe it is on Netflix. Um, I wish I knew the name, but I can't remember. Um, but that movie is kind of a play, a horror play on it. Um, saw the trailer, not going to lie, I did not look, it did not look very impressive to me. Probably one I won't see in theaters. Probably I'll skip it until it comes out on DVD because the trailer just didn't blow me away. Kind of looked like it, uh, kind of looked like it, just a lot of like horror tropes that you see all the time. Kind of looks like just kind of like, eh, I wasn't too impressed with it. And um, usually January is the dumping grounds for movies, um, especially horror movies. So um, I think I'll skip that one for now. And it looks like, all right, so this is the last um, item in the box here. And it looks like another comic book here. Rise number one, Sister's Keeper. Um, so let's see what this is about. Boarded and boarded and bagged again which is always nice so i'm not too familiar with this comic um you know obviously number one so i don't know if it's a complete like a uh you know what it kind of looks like night of the living dead almost in here um very similar it looks almost um looks very similar to night of the living dead from what i'm seeing in the pages here but Obviously, a new, uh, it looks like a zombie, another zombie-based comic book there. Issue number one, once again, it looks like there. So, um, that's cool. You know, I've always said I'm not, like, a huge comic book guy. Um, I read some here and there, but um, this is, like, the most comic books Box of Dreads ever sent. Uh, you know, occasionally they'll send a comic. I, you know, we got, we got the Alien and Predator one um, before. Um but yeah, not bad. So that is it, guys, for Box of Dread. Um, overall, pretty happy with it. Um, you know, some items, you know, were you know more better than others. But you know, the Predator figure was like really cool, and the Christmas ornament was cool. The Krampus card was great. Uh, the postcards were eh, okay. Um, the Crow coaster, pretty cool. Like I said, if anyone wants to trade for that, I know there's a lot of huge Crow fans out there, so I would definitely be willing to part with that. And, um, honestly, the comics, I do own the part with two. I'll probably give them a read, though. Um, but if anyone's, like, super interested in reading those or whatever, hit me up. And, um, we'll work something out. Um, so overall, um, I'll give it, um, a passing grade for Box of Dread this month. It wasn't, like, their best box ever, but it was a pretty solid box. I can't complain too much about it. I thought it was pretty cool. They had some cool stuff in there for sure. 
Um, so let me know what you guys thought of Box of Dread this month. Um, comment down below uh, what, maybe what your favorite item was. And uh, that is it, guys. So I hope everyone has a great night, and we'll see you all real soon.